Good morning. Welcome to, I guess this would be Vlogmas Day 10. I'm not going to lie to you guys though, like I didn't, I took a day off. So I didn't film anything yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday and I woke up kind of late. I slept in because uh, I had been up really late the night before. Thanks to a certain someone. I'm not going to name names, but if you're watching, you know who you are. Um, but I, um, so I slept in and I, I had a car appointment in the morning at like 9.15 in the morning yesterday and I slept in and so I totally missed it. And so I called them and I was like, I'm so sorry, can you squeeze me in in the afternoon? And they were like, they figured it out for me, which was good. And then I, um, I had another appointment, um, at like around noon at the gym and, uh, and with a physiotherapist at the gym to work on some, we've got to work on some like alignment kind of stuff. So, um, so I did that and, um, and then I raced to my car appointment, which I was able to reschedule, which was great. And then I just came home and I just kind of just took the day to just kind of like not do anything. And, um, I had hope to, like, I really need to, I still need to decorate at home. I haven't got, I haven't put my tree up yet. I know for a lot of people it's kind of late, but like for us, like for me growing up, we always put our tree up like only like a week, two weeks before Christmas. That was just kind of like how we did it. So it doesn't feel too late to me, even though I particularly like to get it up sooner rather than later, just because I think. I don't know. It's just more fun to enjoy the tree before Christmas. After Christmas, it's just like, okay, get this thing down. At least that's how I feel. <laughs> Anything after, like, after New Year's, it's like, okay, if it's still standing, like, a day or two after New Year's, I'm just like, okay, that's it. Um, but, yeah. So, today, I'm just having my coffee. It's like 9, it's 9.30 now. And, uh, I made coffee, which is good. I needed it. Um, I think I had coffee. Did I have coffee yesterday? I didn't have it at home though. I got it when I was out. Um, but today I'm going to get ready. We're actually going over to, um, my mom's. I'm going to bring my laundry over there. That's totally what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring my laundry over there. And also we're, we're decorating her tree today. So that'll be fun. And I'm going to vlog some of that. So, you know, I'll put that in the vlog. Um, um, so like my, my nephews and my niece and my, I think my brothers will be there as well. My mom, my son, we're just all gonna, um, decorate her tree. She got an artificial tree, um, for the first time. Um, my parents would always get a real tree and my dad always got a real tree. And then like, he would like have to trim it down and then get it like, also because of where we live, <clears throat> when you go buy a Christmas tree, they're, they're frozen solid. So you have to first let them thaw out for a day before you can actually um, decorate them. It's just it's a lot of work, but it always, like that was just always what my parents did. Like we always got a real tree. Um, and this year, my mom was kind of like stressing over it because my dad's not here anymore. And so she was kind of stressing over the real tree. She's like, oh, I'm gonna have to like count on like one of her sons to come and do it for her and everything else. And she's just like, and I said to her, I said, mom, I'm like, would it like relieve some of the, some of the stress and some of the, you know, if you just got an artificial tree, like what's, you know, you can go get like a really nice artificial tree that like looks real. And she thought about it for a second and she was like, you know what? I think that would, I think that would be good. So she actually went on her own. She just went and bought her. I think she got, she said she got a really, really nice one. I haven't seen it yet, but, um, but yeah, so she got, um, an artificial tree and she just like, she just put it up and it's like, it's pre-lit it's standing. And it's like, it just took, so much like stress off of her which I think was good I mean so many things that we do are like you know we do because it's tradition and because it's always been done that way but when things change I think it's like it's important to kind of like go well you don't have to keep doing things a certain way just because you always have you know especially if it's going to mean that things will be easier for you because Things change, life changes, right? And um, so, anyway, what the hell am I talking about? I'm just gonna drink my coffee now. My son's still sleeping. It's so funny that he um, he sleeps so late sometimes, and other times he's up super early. It's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, 
All right, I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so we gotta leave right away. I just, I had such issues with my makeup today, you guys. Like, it was weird. Like, I was doing my, even my eyebrows, like, I just kept on messing up and then trying to fix it. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, just one of those days, I guess. And I totally was not gonna do my hair today. So I actually just grabbed this beanie that I've had like forever. It's like, it's huge. It's like so big that I can like tuck most of my hair into it. And because my hair is like on like, I was using the triple barrel on my hair for the past little while. And because it's like, um, like day two, day three hair, it's like when I brushed it out, it was like this. So it's like perfect for like tucking into something this big because otherwise if I didn't, uh, if, if my hair was like limp and flat, like this thing would just be like, so it's kind of, it's kind of cute. I don't know. Um, yeah. So maybe I should just like show you what I'm wearing and then we will leave. All right. So, um, I'm kind of, we're running late. So let me just hurry this along. Um, so I'm just wearing this like distressed sweater that I got from Rose Gal. You guys would have seen it in my Rose Gal haul. It's got like some distressing like down at the bottom. It's really cute. And, um, but it's too short to wear with leggings. So instead I decided to just wear my fleece line tights and I just threw these, um, jean cutoffs that I have from Torrid. I've had them for years. Um, and I rarely wear them because of course I would only wear them over leggings or tights or whatever, but they work really good in this sense, because like I said, the sweater is too short to wear with leggings, but you know, you throw some tights on and a pair of like shorts and it works so yeah anyway uh we should probably go um i still need to clean the kitchen though i'm gonna clean the kitchen real quick and then we're gonna go we've got like uh 20 minutes before we have to go This stocking belongs to my friend Heidi. Please fill it up real good. <laughs> this thing is so old. I don't think this will even hold anything anymore.
you guys enjoyed that. I know I didn't film much. I didn't film much over at my parents because, or at my mom's. I always say my parents. I always still say my parents. I don't think I'll ever stop saying that. That's fine. Um, but I didn't film much over there just because it was kind of like, it was weird. And like, there was a lot of like yelling at the children happening. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to relate. Because there's this dude like walking like really slowly right outside my window on the street. Like walking by really, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. I have my window open a little bit because it's super hot in here. Like, I don't know, they have the heat on in here. Like, it, yeah, okay, don't, don't just, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's smoking a joint. He's totally smoking a joint. All right, just live your life. Keep going, just come on, come on. Keep walking, keep walking. I don't wanna close my window. Don't wanna close my window. <sighs> okay, so dude just walked away. I think he just walked into my building though. Whatever, doesn't matter. But the reason, or not the reason, what am I saying? Okay, so you remember how this morning, how I was, I was, I mentioned when I first woke up and I talked about how um, I had been up super late because I had missed my car appointment in the morning because I had been up so late. I wasn't gonna mention names. I was up so late, yada, yada. Okay, so I get home to this. Now, of course, I have my notifications turned on for this check, but, this this is what I come home to. Check it. So tired. Not that I'm blaming anybody. Uh, is because last night I was up late talking to a bad gal by the name of Heidi Christine. For those of you that know her, you know that she's on YouTube doing her thing. She features fashion on her channel, and that is her passion. She also talks about her life, and you know she's a lifestyle channel as well. She's really dope, and we connected like a while ago, and we've been in touch, and we've been talking, and we're gonna collab. The collab's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm not gonna tell you much more, but it's gonna be so dope, so much fun. So, Peeper Channel, I linked it down in the description. It's awesome, and I think it's it's gonna be really cool. She was very anxious about it, whereas I was breezy about it. So you know. Yeah, yeah, you, you know. were. But, you um, totally were. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Fuck. So we'll go to that. <laughs> Time for end of vlogmas, and of course I gotta get back to being a mom. So how fucking weird was that? I'm talking about it this morning, and I come home to her video, and she mentions that I kept her up. I'm sorry, no, it was it was you, it was you, Allie, that were doing like. I was like, um, yeah, yeah, like passing out on the couch while she just like, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I love you, girl. Um, but yeah, you guys totally check out Allie's channel because. Uh, she definitely is like probably like one of the most underrated chicks here on YouTube. Like she is just, her content is so awesome and, uh, and she deserves like a million more subscribers than she has right now. Um, but she's, uh, she's a little bit more Instagram heavy. Like she's just, she, she's got that whole thing down. Whereas me, Instagram, me and Instagram, just like we, we're trying, we're trying to make it work, but it's a struggle. It's such a struggle. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I, maybe I'm just too old for social media. Maybe I got into it too late. And when you get into something too late, you tend not to really know how to navigate it well. And I think that's my issue. But, um, but you guys go ahead and subscribe to Ali's channel because this collab that's happening is going to be just amazing. So you guys need to definitely subscribe to her because you're going to have to go watch her video after you watch mine or vice versa, um, to get the full amazingness that is this collaboration that is coming before vlogmas like during vlogmas don't you worry it's happening before vlogmas is over so anyway i got uh maybe i should show you guys but i got like there was a package sitting outside my door um when i walked in and i don't know what the hell's in it it's super light and um and it's weird because it's a sunday and i did not know that they delivered on sundays and why is it sitting outside my apartment door when other people will not leave things for me when I want them to, but when I don't even know what's happening or what's coming, it's sitting there outside my door on a Sunday. Like, how does that happen? It doesn't make any sense. Let's go see what's inside. I'm so shocked because actually Tori had like sent me, I had ordered a few things when they were having the big sale Cyber Monday or Black Friday or whatever, and they sent me an email saying that pretty much everything for my order got canceled. Um, except for like, I think one or two items and they were shipped separately. So I think, I honestly think this is just a pair of socks. 
um, and why they shipped a pair of socks in a big freaking box like this, I have no idea. But let's take a look inside, shall we? Um, I have a, uh, a screwdriver, because I couldn't find a scissor. Let's get to opening this. Uh, yeah, I need two hands. Okay, what? Um, I thought they had canceled this thing. So, this is, this is a bra. I got like one of those, like a plunge bra. This is a dress and a pair of tights. I, they must have canceled the socks. That kind of pisses me off because I was like, I was looking forward to the socks. So now I'm gonna have to actually haul this stuff. I thought I was just getting socks. And I think there's like a pair of like, a pair of shoes coming soon too, but oh my God, you guys. Okay, so this is like a, a plunge bra and it's like super padded and uh, it's like a push-up plunge bra. I, I'm i looking forward to trying this on. Um, this is just a pair of um, opaque tights and I got a size 5'6". I hope it's not going to be too big um, because generally I'm not a size 5'6 or toward, but tights I'm always so nervous. I'm so nervous that they're not going to fit my thighs. Or that they're going to be too tight um but uh usually that means that they're going to be way too big around the ankles so i will see but these are like in this like nice like burgundy like maroon color and then this dress so this is like a um a velvet like a really nice sorry i'm like holding my phone what am i doing um this is like a velvet slip dress <gasps> Oh, hey, you guys, I'm going to have to try this stuff on. You know what? I think I'm going to put this in the vlog. So, um, yeah, um, let me go. Let me go put, I really want to put this dress on. I really need to put this dress on. Hold on. Okay, so don't mind the hair. I, I took my hat off because it didn't really work with this dress. I'm a little disappointed, you guys. It's a little too big. Um, so I have the straps tightened all the way, but it's just... Unfortunately, it's just a little too big. Like, doesn't quite maybe seem like it, but just up here and the fact that, like, I should have gotten a two. I got this in a three, and I should have known, like, with Torrid, I'm always usually in the dresses I'm a two. So the fact that, like, I just thought because it was bodycon and everything else, but there's so much stretch to it, and, like, it's just... I mean, I can still make it work. I think the thing that bugs me, though, is like you, like you can see, like because I've got them tightened all the way, the straps don't really look that good because like this piece is sitting like right here and then there's still too much fabric up here. Like it's just, it's just too big. Oh. But it's really, really pretty. Um, the slit on the side is like really high. Um, but I mean, I would just wear tights with it anyway. Um, but it is really pretty. I think I can still, like, make it work. I just wish that there was a way to fix this, but maybe there is. I don't know. So, yeah. It's cute, though, and, like, the color is beautiful. That dress at Additionnel, though, still takes the cake, like, over this one. Um, but this is, it is, it is really pretty I, I just wish it wasn't so freaking big like it's just it's just too big so that sucks oh, that dress has got to go it's got to go <laughs> like it's just I watched the footage back that I just shot and mm -mm, mm -mm. it's way too big and it doesn't it just looks sloppy so I'm gonna just I'm I think I'm gonna send it back it just sucks returning, especially returning like to Torrid because I have to pay for the shipping to go back, but oh well, I don't know. It just sucks that it's just too big and it's not like, you know, I tried on much nicer velvet dresses at Additionnel. Um, the slip dress there and also the, the one that I really want to go back for, which I'm still really thinking I want to go back for it because yeah, it just sucks. I hate when that happens. I hate when I order 
especially something that I like I know if I had just gotten the smaller size it would be a thousand times better but oh well anyway you guys I think I'm gonna end vlog with day 10 here and yeah so I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow Bye.